In this lecture, we will calculate the Fourier transform of rectangular function and for this we will consider the general case. So the time domain signal xt is equal to a rect t over tau and we will calculate the Fourier transform of the rectangular function. Let's say the Fourier transform is equal to x omega and we know in this representation, this a here is the amplitude of the rectangular function and this tau here is the duration in which the rectangular function is having the value equal to a. So if this is the waveform of this rectangular function, then this value of signal xt is equal to a because this is the amplitude of the rectangular function and this duration of time is equal to tau because in this duration the signal value is non-zero and it is equal to a. This makes this particular instant of time equal to minus tau by 2 and this particular instant of time equal to tau by 2. And you can see the rectangular function is the combination of step signals. It is the combination of step signals and therefore, for the calculation of Fourier transform, we can use the method of differentiation. We will differentiate the signal waveform and from the obtained result, we will calculate the Fourier transform. So let's quickly perform the differentiation of the given waveform. For this, we will start from minus infinity. And you can see from minus infinity to minus tau by 2, the signal value is equal to 0 and it is constant. So the waveform of signal dxt over dt will have the value equal to 0 from minus infinity to minus tau by 2 because this will give us the slope of signal xt and the slope of this line from minus infinity to minus tau by 2 is equal to 0. Let's say this instant here is minus tau by 2 and this instant here is equal to tau by 2. So we have value of signal dxt over dt equal to 0 from minus infinity to minus tau by 2 and after this when t is equal to minus tau by 2 xt is having the upward level switching. So we have the infinite value of the slope. So dxt over dt will be represented by an impulse and the weight of this impulse signal is equal to plus a. We are having plus because there is upward level switching and we are having a because the discontinuity is equal to a. Here the value of signal is equal to 0 and here the value of signal is equal to a. So a minus 0 will give us the discontinuity which is equal to a. So overall the strength or weight is equal to plus a. Now we will move forward and you can see the value of signal is equal to a from minus tau by 2 to tau by 2 and this line is having the slope equal to 0. So dxt over dt will be equal to 0 from minus tau by 2 to tau by 2. After this we are having downward level switching and again the discontinuity is equal to a and as it is downward level switching, the weight of the impulse will be negative. So we will have the impulse like this and it is having the weight minus a. After this, we are having xt equal to 0 from tau by 2 to plus infinity and you can see this line is having the slope equal to 0. So dxt over dt is equal to 0 from tau by 2 to plus infinity and in this way we have the signal which is the combination of only impulses therefore we can calculate the Fourier transform of rectangular function easily using this waveform. So let's quickly represent the signal dxt over dt in terms of impulses. There are two impulses and the first impulse is equal to a delta t plus tau by 2 a delta t plus tau by 2 and the second impulse is equal to minus a delta t minus tau by 2 
minus a delta t minus tau by 2. I will take a common. So d x t over d t is equal to a bracket delta t plus tau by 2 minus delta t minus tau by 2. Now we will perform the Fourier transform on both the sides. On the left hand side we will have j omega power 1 multiplied to x omega where x omega is the Fourier transform of signal xt. On the right hand side we will have a bracket Fourier transform of delta t is equal to 1 but here we are having delta t plus tau by 2. So we will use the property of time shifting and this 1 will be multiplied by e power j omega tau by 2. Similarly from here we will have 1 multiplied to e power minus j omega tau by 2. So we have j omega multiplied to x omega equal to a inside the bracket e power j omega tau by 2 minus e power minus j omega tau by 2. And now we will divide both the sides by j omega. So we will have x omega on the left hand side and on the right hand side we will have a multiplied to e power j omega tau by 2 minus e power minus j omega tau by 2 divided by j omega. We can write e power j omega tau by 2 minus e power minus j omega tau by 2 divided by j equal to 2 times sin omega tau by 2. So we will have x omega equal to a over omega multiplied to 2 times sin omega tau by 2. Now I want to write x omega in terms of sampling function therefore I will divide by omega tau by 2 and multiply by omega tau by 2. So sin omega tau by 2 divided by omega tau by 2 is equal to sampling omega tau by 2. So we can write Fourier transform x omega equal to a because this omega and omega will cancel out multiplied to tau this tau here sampling omega tau by 2 this 2 and 2 will also cancel out. So this is the final result you have to remember this Fourier transform this is the Fourier transform of rectangular function. And now you will ask me what about the DC value. The DC value of this signal is equal to 0 because this signal is finite duration signal and finite duration signals have DC value equal to 0. The DC value is equal to 0 because XT is non-zero for a very small amount of time from minus infinity to infinity it is non-zero only for tau. So if you calculate the average you will find it is equal to zero. So DC value is equal to zero and we know the Fourier transform of DC value equal to zero is equal to zero. So adding zero to a tau sampling omega tau by two will not change anything. So this is the final result and in this you can notice one thing this a tau is the area. This is the area of this rectangle. Tau is the width and A is the height. So A tau is the area and this tau by 2, this tau by 2 is equal to the duration in which the signal value is equal to A divided by 2. So remember these points and this is all for this lecture. If you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section. I will end this lecture here. See you in the next one.